So what is it like to live in Kenmore on a day like this? It can't be beaten. It is 75 degrees in April. This is unseasonably warm if you're not from the area. This is a gorgeous day and like always, the first hot weather day in Seattle. It's actually been all weekend because now it's Sunday, but we've had gorgeous weather and people are just getting outside like crazy. So I'm here at Log Boom Park, which is a fantastic park right along the Burt Gilman Trail. So you can see over here, this grassy area, there'll be bikers and walkers and people going by there. And this trail runs uh, up into Bothell, down through Lake Forest Park to the University of Washington. It's a very long, nice biking trail, uh, very flat. It used to be a train track. So people are packing this thing like crazy. And we were here yesterday and there were so many kids on this playground behind me. It's uh, maybe a little warmer now. People have gone in, little kids are napping, but this has been a hot spot. Now over here is Lake Washington and you can see it is just sunny and so nice. We're right by Kenmore Air. So of course they've got the airplanes, uh, the seaplanes parked over there. Haven't been able to get one taking off or landing on video for you guys yet, but I'm gonna work on that. And um, my daughter is actually over at the lake. Uh, we're here with a couple friends and they brought a canoe. We've got other people launching any kind of portable inflatable boat you can imagine down into the water to take advantage of this gorgeous, gorgeous day. So if you thought about living in Kenmore, it's mostly residential. There's not a lot of nightlife. We kind of have Bothell Way as the main drag, which has you know churches, bowling alleys, Starbucks, restaurants, grocery stores, that type of a thing. Uh, the more industrial retail part of town, but this is very much a residential area. So over here um, in this direction, you can see some condos. If you want waterfront condo living, this is a great location. And at the the base of these condos on the other side of the property and also down by the water is a marina. So if you don't want to leave your boat at home, you want to store it, you can store it here at the marina and then you're just that close to the lake to be able to get in the water at any time. So my last video on Kenmore that I did, um, I'll try to post it so you can see it, but it was cold. It was winter. I was in my hat. And I can't believe I'm already out here doing a summertime video so you can really tell the difference. This area is starting to come alive. We've still got daffodils coming up. I mean, this is pretty early spring. We just passed our frost free date last week. So it's a warm spring. Don't count on this every April, but this is a really wonderful facility. They've got um, a crew team that meets over here. You can see uh, the crew boats and things. If you're a rower, you can row on Lake Washington. They've got restrooms over here. And it's a small park, but it's got water access, and so it's a great place to hang out. There's also the Civic Club, uh, just half a mile of walking. We get there it's down by the Lake Forest Park Town Center. So if you want a private club where you can uh, see the same folks, more of a party atmosphere every week, uh, you can join the Civic Club if you live in this Lake Forest Park Kenmore area. But if you um, want a public access beach, this has it all, and I encourage you to come out and enjoy.